What's up everybody, Extreme Fs here. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G or iPad Touch 2G on a Mac. And this is the 4.1 firmware jailbreak. And it's kind of bad that it only works for the iPhone 3G and iPad Touch 2G, but that's how it is, you know, we can't change it. And one good thing though is that it works for uh, both non-MC and MC on the iPad Touch 2G. So you have to download two things. The first thing is the firmware, the formula firmware for your device. And the second thing is uh, Red Snow, which is, which is the jailbreaking tool. So to download the firmware, you go to this website. I'll link in the video description down below. And scroll down to where it says iPod slash, it says iPhone slash iPod touch slash iPad. And then you will see this huge list of different firmwares. Um, you want to choose your device and then 4.1 so in my case I choose iPhone 3G 4.1 slash um, 88117 uh, so choose iPhone 3G 4.1 if you're on the iPhone 3G but if you're on the iPod Touch 2G you obviously choose iPod Touch 2G 4.1 and then you just click download here but I have already done that so, um, the other thing you have to download is Red Snow, and this is the mega upload link. Um, I will put uh, I will put it in the video description so that you can download that as well. So that is what you have to download. When you have those two files downloaded and you have them on your desktop, connect your iPhone via the USB ca uh, cable to your Mac. Then what you want to do is you want to open up Red Snow. and you will see this little uh, window. So you want to click browse down here and you want to browse your firmware. So mine is on my desktop and you just click it, double click it and it will process your firmware that should take like three seconds and then you can click next and then Red Snow is doing some stuff here and here is where you can choose a few options you can choose whether you want to install Cydia uh, Verbus Boot, Custom Boot Logo, Custom Recovery Logo, Enable Multitasking Enable Home Screen Wallpaper, Enable Battery Percentage um, I think I'm going to have um, Cydia and multitasking. That's the uh, that's the two things I want to have. So when you have chosen what you want to have, click next, and then it says make sure your device is both off and plugged in. So take your iPhone or iPod Touch and turn it off. like that and just wait for it to load a little bit and it says that if it's not off plug the device into the computer first then uh, hold down the power button on the edge of the device until slide to power off appears and then slide to power off you must be a noob if you didn't know that so when your device is turned off and plugged in you can click next and now here's uh, you gotta be prepared here because I'm um, now you're gonna do now you're gonna press some buttons. Hold down the power button in the corner for three seconds. Uh, without re releasing the power button, uh, hold down the home button as well for ten seconds, and then release the power button. But you keep hold your home button. And um, uh, f just for safety, keep holding the home button because when it like uh, messed up for me, I tried to keep holding the home button all the time, and then it worked. So your screen will go white like that. You might get scared when it does, but that's you know, um, that's 
meant to happen. Okay, so that's it. Now, now Red Snow is gonna do all this stuff for you. Uh, you can even close the window, I think. But yeah, this is how to jailbreak your iPod Touch um, second generation or iPhone 3G on Mac on the 4.1 firmware. Um, I will repeat uh, the hold down the buttons section because it is kind of fast. First, you hold down the power button for 3 seconds. Then, you hold down the power and home button for 10 seconds without releasing the power button. And then, you release the power button and you only uh, you keep pressing the home button and keep holding it until you see the downloading jailbreak uh, logo. After a while, you will see this walking pineapple in a loading bar down below. And after like maybe five minutes or something, um, your iPhone will be uh, will be jailbroken. You will have Cydia and all the other stuff that you chose in Red Snow. So I'm just gonna skip this part and I'm gonna show you the end when the device is jailbroken. By the way, I just forgot to mention um, thank you so much for uh, getting me to a YouTube partnership. Um, I got accepted yesterday. I was like, holy crap, because I didn't think I was going to make it. I was uh, very surprised. So now we see that the iPhone is booting up again. And it might take longer um, than regularly when you boot it up. It might take a few minutes, but then just wait. So now my iPhone is on, and as you can see, I have Cydia, and I'm just going to show you that I am on the 4.1 firmware, so I'm just going to go to settings, general, about, and I don't know if you can see it because the camera doesn't focus properly, but it says version 4.1 here, and yeah. Um, I'm kind of sorry because I couldn't use my good camcorder. I have this really high quality camcorder, uh, this one, but it records in a kind of a weird format which iMovie doesn't support and besides it's out of battery. So maybe you couldn't really see what was on the screen and I'm very sorry about that. But I will post the steps in the video description anyway, so don't worry. Um, this has been Extreme Apps showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G on the 4.1 firmware. I want to thank you for watching, um, and thank you for giving me a YouTube partnership. I'm very happy about that, and I'll see you later.